Welcome to Sydney's Total Body BOSU Ball Workout. The BOSU Ball makes exercise extra challenging by adding an element of instability to your workouts, forcing you to use your core to stay steady. This workout will help you improve your strength and balance, which is crucial for preventing injuries. Now let's get started. Let's start with a little mountain climb. Place the ball on the ground with the round side down. Hold the outer edges firmly with your hands. On your forefeet, position one leg forward, bent under your body, and extend your other leg back. Three, two, one, begin. While holding your upper body in place, alternate leg positions by pushing your hips up while immediately extending your forward leg back and pulling your rear leg forward under your body. Land on both forefeet simultaneously. Intensity can be increased by stepping faster. Do for 30 to 60 seconds. You're working your entire body with this exercise. Dreams don't work unless you do. Next, we're gonna do some push-ups. Place the ball on the ground with the round side down. Hold the outer edges firmly with both hands and get on your knees. Lower your body towards the ground by bending your arms. Push your body up until your arms are extended. Repeat 15 times. Three, two, one, begin. Make sure both your upper and lower body are kept straight throughout. To make this exercise more intense, do a standard push-up. You're working your abs, core, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. Now let's do a one leg abduction. Slowly and cautiously step onto the center of the flat side of the ball. Hold onto a sturdy object for balance if necessary. Take your time adjusting your balance until you can stand upright with one leg lifted off the ball. Engage your abs and keep your arms extended in front of you with your palms facing out. Exhale and lift your leg out to the side. Slowly return to the starting position and do 15 reps on each side. Three, two, one, begin. Only lift your leg as high as you can while maintaining balance and control. Try to keep your standing leg straight and your back flat at all times. Don't lock your knees and stare at a focal point in front of you to help with balance. To make this move more challenging, extend your arms out at shoulder level. This exercise works your abs, core, abductors, adductors, and legs. Fit is not a destination, it's a lifestyle. The body achieves what the mind believes.
Next, we're gonna do some crunches. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and your legs on top of the flat side of the ball. Your heels should be your only contact with the ball. Cross your arms at shoulder level. Make sure there is some space between your chin and your chest. Draw your belly button in and sit up until your elbows reach your knees. Alternate twisting your torso from side to side. Three, two, one, begin. If it becomes too difficult, don't twist. Be careful about using your abs instead of your back, leg, or neck muscles. Exhale as you sit up. Inhale as you lie down. To make this exercise more challenging, place your hands behind your ears, lightly touching your head. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs and core. Next, we're gonna do some back extensions. Lie on top of the round side of the ball with your stomach in the center and your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Rest on your toes with your arms extended out in front of you, parallel to the ground and shoulder width apart. Bring your upper body up as high as you can, extending your arms out behind you, touching the back of your knees. Lower yourself back down slowly to the starting position. This completes one rep. Continue for 15 reps. Three, two, one, begin. To make this exercise more challenging, pause for two seconds on top. You're working your abs, core, back, legs, and shoulders. become the most fit and healthy version of you. Now we're gonna do some glute kicks. Get on all fours with your knees slightly off the center of the round side of the ball. Legs hip width apart and knees directly under your hips, resting on your toes. Your arms should be shoulder width apart and your wrist under your shoulders. Keep one at a 90 degree angle as you raise your other leg behind you as high as you can. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Your back should remain perfectly still with a neutral spine. Three, two, one, begin. The motion should be controlled with your muscles doing the work, not momentum. Return to the starting position and do 15 reps on each side. To increase intensity, hold for one second on top. You're working your abs, core, glutes, hip flexors, psoas, and quads. Don't get fit for summer, get fit for life. Mm -hmm. 
Next, let's do some ISO thrusts with leg extensions. Rest your head and shoulders on the flat side of the ball with your knees bent at 90 degrees, hip width apart, and your arms extended at your sides with your palms facing up. Place a towel under your head if necessary. Keep your back straight and parallel to the ground. Engage your abs, squeezing your glutes, and alternate kicking your legs straight up into the air. Three, two, one, begin. To make the exercise more challenging, pause for one second on top. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, glutes, and quads. Strive for progress, not perfection. Eat clean, train hard. Now let's do some twists. Stand on the round side of the ball with your feet shoulder width apart and your knees slightly bent. Bend your elbows at your sides with your palms facing each other. Engage your abs and alternate twisting your body from the hips, throwing a punch at shoulder level and pulling the other arm back. Three, two, one, begin. To intensify this move, squat down slightly. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, legs, and obliques. If you want it all, you gotta give it all. Count reps not calories. Great job completing the first circuit. Before we start the second circuit, take a short break to hydrate yourself and stretch your legs out. Now is the time to rev it up and take it a notch higher. We're leaving the comfort zone now. Let's focus on going harder to get stronger and leaner faster. And while it is imperative that you push yourself harder, it's very important that you listen to your body and take it easy when you feel like you need to. You know yourself best. All right, let's get started. Let's start with a little mountain climb. Do this as fast as you can, but maintain total control. Grab the handles firmly. From a staggered stance, jump and switch your feet. Don't hit your forward foot on the ball. Breathe out with each and every jump. This is a nice warm up because you're getting your heart rate up, your arms and shoulders are getting tensed, your core muscles are engaged, and your legs are pumping. You're starting off really well. Keep up the great intensity and the rest of your workouts will be fun and fast. Work hard, stay humble. Next, we're gonna get down and do some push-ups. Do it on your knees if you need help and do it on your toes to make it harder. Focus on going down as low as you can. Keep your body in a straight line as you go up and down. Breathe out as you push up and away. Keep it up, your abs should be tight always. Well done. This exercise will give you great, sexy arms and shoulders and a well-developed chest. Very nice. Push through the burn. You're doing great. It takes a certain degree of obsession to get fit.
Now let's get back up and place the ball with the flat side up. Make sure that you position one foot directly in the center of the ball. Get a feel for the balance first, then lift the other leg up sideways. Have your arms out and back with your palms facing the front. Breathe out as you lift your leg. Focus and keep your balance throughout. This exercise will give you great looking and strong hips. Avoid lifting too fast so you won't lose your balance. Nice and steady, then faster and higher if you're able to. Sore today, strong tomorrow. Giving up is not an option. When it hurts, keep going. Well done. Looking strong. Drink a little water if you're ready and do a light stretch to loosen yourself up. Lie on the ground and place your heels on top of the flat side of the ball. Go full range down and up and twist on top. To help you do a full sit up, extend your arms towards your toes. Breathe out on the way up. Keep a nice slow pace and tighten your abs on the way up and on the way down. That's it, very nice. Good focus. You'll get sexy abs in no time with this move. Your shins will also get tighter because you're keeping your toes contracted upward. Good job, you're doing really well. Now flip the ball over again so that the flat side is down and the round side is up. Place your stomach on the middle of the ball. Spread your legs shoulder width apart for better balance. Then lift up as high as you can. Breathe out on the way up. This will get you a strong back. That's it. Keep your abs and back tight to maximize your contractions. Swing your arms out and back to fully squeeze all the back muscles. Avoid going too fast with this move. Run from fear, chase your dreams. Great job. Stretch out a little and get a little drink before the next exercise. Now it's time to work on your glutes. To begin, place your knees on the top of the dome and your hands on the ground. Keep your shoulders over your hands and kick one leg back. Breathe out as you kick upward. Then bring your knee back down, but don't let that knee touch the ball. This will give you tight, toned shoulders and lean arms. Avoid kicking parallel to the ground or not high enough. You want a full contraction of your glutes, so kick up as high as you can. Nice, you're doing really well with this routine. Focus on keeping the rest of your body still and tense while you work your glutes. Well done. When it hurts, keep going. Defy your limits. Let's flip the BOSU ball over again and have the flat side up. Lie on the flat side with your head and shoulders on the BOSU and have your lower back and glutes up in the air. Keeping your legs close to one another will help you maintain your balance better. 
Touching the ground with your hands will also help with stability. Breathe out as you extend one leg up at a time. This will work your glutes, quads, and core. Keep your body in a straight line to focus on your balance. There you go, you're doing it perfectly. Avoid going too fast that you begin to rock side to side and extend your legs up as high as possible. Now do a little stretching and drink to hydrate yourself. Now let's finish strong by doing some abs. Flip the BOSU ball over with the flat side down. Stand on it with your feet about shoulder width apart. Make sure that you have a good balanced stance with your legs slightly bent. Then twist as far as you can from your left to your right. Maintain balance and focus on the rotation of your obliques. Breathe out with every twist. Keep your abs tense throughout. Go as fast as you can, but stay in control. This exercise will give you a slim waist. Push through the burn and fatigue. You did a great job. Congratulations, you're all done. However, we recommend that you stretch in silence to cool down and rejuvenate your body and mind. Never stretch too far because you could injure yourself.
up, Jimra? It's Laura Myron. We just finished filming our good morning salutation, 15 minutes of yoga. You cannot tell me that you don't have 15 minutes. Get your butt out of bed 15 minutes earlier. It makes a huge difference in how you feel, in your focus, in your energy, in your body. 15 minutes a day. I know you can do this, and I can't wait to see you on the mat. When you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to show all, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the show all button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, Click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full length routines, click on the video streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the menu tab on the right hand side of the screen to access the about page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. I want to invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on no, I do not want any programs. Head to the programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page, featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs, and we'll see you soon.